Hello friends. So in this video, we are going to talk about superficial veins of upper limb. And these superficial veins are very important because you know these are most commonly used for IV injections and to collect the blood samples. Right now, let's see. So first on the back of the hand. So here are the digital veins. They form dorsal venous arch. So this dorsal venous arch has the afferents from the digital veins. Right. Now at the lateral end of this dorsal venous arch, it goes upward and it here begins the cephalic vein. So lateral border pe, lateral end of dorsal venous arch, yahan se begin hoti hai cephalic vein. Okay. Then cephalic vein runs upward and it comes in the front of the limb. So front mein aati hai ye and then it uh, runs upwards at the lateral border of biceps brachii. Okay. Then it runs in the uh, infraclavicular fossa and it pierces through the clavipectoral fascia. So cephalic vein pierces the clavipectoral fascia, fascia and then it drains into axillary vein. Okay, finally it drains into the axillary vein. Mein. Now see the basilic vein. At the medial end of this dorsal venous arch, basilic vein begins and this basilic vein wings around the elbow. So it comes in front at uh, at the elbow and then it runs upward okay ye upward run karti hai and it becomes the axillary vein so ye kahan banti axillary vein at the lower border of the teres major so teres major ke lower border par it becomes axillary vein okay so and uh, here also a medial cubital vein this is a communicating vein large communicating vein that shunt blood from cephalic vein to basilic vein okay this is medial cubital vein so these are all about superficial veins of the upper limb thank you